What's up guys? Matco Michael just pulled up, so let's go take a look and see what he's got. Y'all come on. Well, I've had several people ask they're wanting to donate to that uh, autism camp y'all got yeah, going. Yeah. And several of them said they didn't care nothing about getting into the drawing for the toolbox, so they just wanted to donate money. So okay. how can they do that? Uh, we can do it over PayPal. Uh, let me get the PayPal address, and uh, we'll put it on a video, and then they can just do it by PayPal, and I'll put the money in for them. Okay. And, uh, that way we can get everybody involved. That's that's really great. Everybody's wanting to donate. That that's great. Maybe we can get our 18 kids, or maybe even more going. There you go. Oh, Bill done found something quick today. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Bill. And it's green. He went straight to the green. It's the wrong color. He had it in orange or high vis. Yeah, that's a O-ring removal tool kit. I can't believe you're jumping off of green. You got too much green. You love some green. I got too much green, but not enough green. Remember, he went buying nothing that wasn't green. Now he's green sick of green. That's, that's the way it was. Sick of green. Wally's eyeballing something hard, too. What you looking at? Uh, airline release tool. They got the best one. I got one of them. You take one and that's what that is, Bill. Ain't that for uh, CV boots? Band clamps? Yeah. What are y'all looking at? I haven't heard the right answer yet. I'll let y'all keep guessing. Mm -hmm. I said it's put them clamp, them squeeze clamps on. Not that pair. It looks like it. It may work for it, but not that pair. Well, what is that pair for? That's actually for wheel weights. Oh, wheel weights. Yeah, on the inside of the rims. I see that. That's the. It's a new design. It's supposed to keep you from scratching the the high rims. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have to do no wheel weighting. Thank goodness. We do wheel weighting. We put new wheels on them. We build. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the email address. I'm using my wife's PayPal. She keeps a better check on it. I don't have a PayPal. So if they'll just send it to there and just in the comments put uh, autism camp or, you know. Right. So that's some, 2011. Right? 2011, yeah. right. At gmail.com. Alrighty, guys. So there you go. If y'all want to donate to the autism camp, you just go to that on PayPal, put in that address, and then put autism camp on it, and uh, we'll get you took care of. There you go. I definitely will be. I, I'm, I'm really glad to see so many people taking to that. And we got this in now. Uh, it's going to be a flex head cutoff wheel, so you're able to move it forward and back. Locking in place, adjustable uh, guard there. If you decide to keep it on, we recommend you keeping it on. Forward and reverse, so we can throw the uh, sparks in any direction that we get ready to. Right. We also got low and high, so that we can control the speed besides just the trigger, right? Sometimes we get a little nervous and start shaking. We like to throw things at Wally, so we'll aim it in his direction. Okay, well we just aim it in his direction and, and fire away, Wide right? Wide open. So as you can see, it's, I mean, it's, it adjusts real easy. Just unlock it, get in those tight spots. So some of my trailer techs said that uh, they can see it coming real handy when they're doing right up next to the trailer wall. They can actually get it. So, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty cool little tool. I wish I'd have had it when I was a tech, but Part number. Right, there's the part number. That's not nice. What horsepower is that? Uh, 0.75. What's the RPM on that? Uh, 
Uh, let's look and see. At free speed at 16,000 RPM. That's getting it. That's getting it. Oh, yeah. You want it? That's nice. Here's that part number, guys, that uh, for those power outlets um, that we all bought last week. I don't know if I showed the part number or not, but there you go. Thing is super, super handy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep that on the truck. I've had a lot of interest in it since since I've had one on the truck. I had a lot of people really wanting it, really buy it. That's nice. So. Now hmm. uh, he's pulling the parts. Oh. What kind of solder it takes. It takes just regular solder, and then it's just you know you buy that solder in the little tubes. Mm -hmm. So you just stick it down in there. And that may not ever work again since Wally messed with it. <laughs> well, if he goes the wrong direction, it's definitely not gonna work. We'll let him play with it for a little while and then we'll... I think he's got it figured out. Damn. Then you put your wire in both ends. You practiced it. Yes. He probably watched a YouTube video on how to load <laughs> it before he started. No, I tore it down earlier just in case if it broke. I didn't have to buy it then. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Wally proof for him. Free planning. Exactly. Free exactly. planning. It may be thinking funny, ahead. But you are still thinking. Right? Show everybody you, you pick, Bill, at Wally. Messed up. I'm going to punch. That's it. <laughs> my hat to so how did it happen, Wally? What'd you do? It was actually working on Toyota Sienna. Oh yeah, uh, Toyotas was... are not that hard to work on. You can, I mean, you had to be doing. Hey, something. that was the one. With you the can CBS, say that, but we used what was my pry bar? Probably a six foot. Somewhere along the lines. What was you doing? Removing that CV CV axle. CV axle. And yeah. we had to use that and that Wilton 20 pound sledgehammer. Didn't we talk about that last week? Yep. Yeah, those things like weld their stuff in that old <laughs> carrier. It was bad. To say the least. It was bad, but we beat the living hell out of it and we got it out of there. Yeah. But now it took some weighing. Yeah. But I've have, got a monster have a rack, problem. Do you? Man, we, we used to fight with this thing to take two or three people. One with an air hammer, one with a long pry, uh, pry bar like that. Well, I tell you, if you ever run across one again, get somebody slide under there, just hold that pry bar against it, and get somebody on the other side with a big 20 pound sledge. Yeah. She'll come out of there. Either that or the engine's gonna come through the fender. <laughs> one of the two. Either way, it's coming yeah, out we, of the car. We, I mean, we got pretty good at it, but even then, there were some we had to take the bolts out. That's three bolts, right? Holding that carrier to yeah, the top one's bottom. bottom. Yeah. And uh, we had to take those out and wrestle the engine out around it. But. Uh, we were back to that point mm -hmm. of taking the bolts out, and the top one's kind of a bugger to get to because the axle's right in the way. But well, the only bad part that we found about leaving the axle in and doing the engines, I mean, it, it worked great, but if you had to let the lift up and down several times, that, that they were going to separate. And now, you, you know, you have to put the axle back together and grease it and put one of those clamps on it. And so we, uh, we did what we could, though, right? Well, I'm proud we don't have to mess with them damn things very much. <laughs> you're more of a diesel guy. You, or, yeah, you're, you said you wouldn't touch a gas engine, right? I don't like gas engines. <laughs> don't bother me, though. Yeah. I got a part number on it, but somebody's going to ask. You, you well have to get it easy Michael. solder, I think. Easy solder? Yeah, easy solder, I think. But somebody's going to want to know. And they still going to be somebody after we post it right here, the part number. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm still gonna somebody say, "Hey, what's the part what's number?" Part number, number on that soldering thing. <laughs> part number <laughs> is E Z e S O L D. E Z S O L D. Yeah, hey, E Z S O L D. Just shopping. Well, I was looking at a pickle fork kit. Well, I got one front air hammer back there. I saw you messing with it a while ago. Mm -hmm. SPF 414. That's some good sunblock. I usually get SPF 50, but that SPF 414 will keep you from burning for sure. For sure, for sure. That's it. What um, what kind of deals you got like in your punch sets? Uh, let's see what kind of sets I've got going on here. Let's see. I've got this set here. It's got the cold chisels of the starter punches and the pin punches. What are you What are you really looking That's, for? Kind of Something what I'm like looking that. for, you know. Then I think I got this one here. Well, I know I've got it, but it's just that style there. Right. But I'll look at and see what you, what the price on these is. I want to kind of deal we got. Got 
broke. Yeah, that's what kind of reminded me of that uh, one you got that kind of looks like it belongs on the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Thanks, Wally. Wally was picking his teeth and bent it. <laughs> Had a piece of barbecue hung, didn't you, Wally? Bent it <laughs> more than just barbecue to bend that. Bent is covered under warranty, right, Michael? Do what? Bent is covered under warranty, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah. Matt says, as long as you ain't dead yet, Bill, it's got a lifetime warranty. Good deal. When you die and Wally breaks it thin, it's on Wally. <laughs> And I'm going to get the 12-piece uh, punch and chisel set right there at the part number here. Let me show you guys what all is in this thing. Pretty nice little assortment. And then, uh, looks like Bill is going to get his... We ain't done working on Bill just yet. Punch warranty. And then, who knows what else Bill's gonna get? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. How's the creeper working? Man, I can't keep Wally off of it. He wouldn't ever use a snap on creeper. If I get to look at my creeper, hey, Clay, you seen my creeper? Yeah, look under Wally. <laughs> <laughs> and Wally's got one, doesn't he? I thought that's what you said last week. Is, is His is visible, it's easier to find. Yeah, I thought the comment last week was I can keep Bill off of mine now. <laughs> Well, he didn't have, ever use mine and just use his. Oh, yeah, okay. We can get some orange spray paint. Spray Look paint right there, <laughs> Wally. He's got well, another orange one. Trade yours in. Trade yours in. You can have a, you and Bill can have matching creepers. Oh, I don't like y'all that much. much. So uh -huh. sweet rolling around the shop. I ain't matching having creepers. It. I ain't having it. Nope. No, 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 no. no copycats running around here. <laughs> <laughs> blue, black, red, I think yellow. I used to have a blue one. I'm just saying. Well, he's got a black one. Yeah, I got a black one now. Because I like to get greasy. Well, you like to get greasy? Yeah, I get, get that hat. greasy. It's only a week old. He just got that last week. They need to change oil in it already. Yeah, see, we can get him a yellow one, Clay. He got to be able to see go. that. Well, that's what Bill needs. Well, Bill's got the orange one. You can't just trade him out of it. You can't just say, here, I'm going to take yours. You must have one just like that you blue get one. get that green one, Wally. Uh, I don't like green and I ain't a green fan. Bill's a green guy. I used to be. You got a big green tool box. So I, I like my big green tool box. Full of green tools. So what happened? What what's the story behind no more green at all? Well there's too much green. Too much green. Like too much green. green but not enough green. Not enough of that kind of green. Yeah, but let's just say something else. Something made you swap. <laughs> I don't think it's just too much. You just got bored with it? No. I don't want nobody to get jealous. I had a green six drawer roll cart for about, what, probably about three months, wasn't it, Bill? Yep. Man, I wanted to puke every time I seen that thing. I was done with green. <laughs> I didn't want no more green. Bill was just drooling over it, and then he went and bought that big snap on green toolbox, and I think he's to the point where I am. He's, he's greened out. That happened. Oh, All right, folks. My old Ford out there is a good truck. But the ball joints need to replace like really bad. We're gonna tackle that job tomorrow. And this might come in handy. I'd be upset if I didn't have it. So find a pickle for you. I'm gonna try it out. There you go, guys. So that's what we got. Y'all seen it. And uh like always, thanks for watching. If you wanna to donate to the autism thing, be sure to go to PayPal and take care of that. Like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It is what, Bill? Totally free. What is it, Wally? Don't cost you a dime. Don't cost nothing. What about you, Michael? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next time.